everyone, thanks for pressing play. You are watching a brand new episode of Excalibur CCG TV's comics. Excalibur CCG TV's talking comics. Um, I'm Olivia. I'm Mark. And we are at Excalibur. We are. Smack dab in the middle. We are in Shreveport. We are also in Texarkana. Um, you can also check us out on our website, our Facebook, our Twitter. All that. <laughs> the alleged Twitter account. I don't know. That Apparently we got one. On. Um, Tweets, whatever. We're talking about the books hitting the shelves on December 19, 2018. Yep. Why don't you start us off? Mark? I will do that. I will do that. Um, this week, um, starting off from Marvel Comics, uh, Defenders Best Defense. This is wrapping up the Many series they've been doing the last couple weeks with uh, Hulk and Namor and Silver Surfer and Doctor Strange one shots coming out. This is the tie-in, the finale, uh, the Lost Atlanteans, the Train, the Bedsheet Man, Dead Steve, the Stock Exchange of Souls. Trust us, it all makes sense. In fact, it makes enough sense to destroy our entire solar system, uh, unless four di very different heroes can come together to stop it. The original Defenders. So, uh, well, I think they're probably going to get together to stop it. I think they probably will. I think that's a pretty safe bet. But it'll make sense the way they do it. Okay, Feast or Famine, one of three. So a little miniseries from Alterna Comics with Dave Schwartz and Joseph Cooper. In a dimension parallel to our own world-renowned inventors, Nicholas Tesca and Dr. Albalian Stein. Okay have discovered a mysterious signal from deep within the cosmos. Believing it to be from an alleged alien race, the two embark on a journey that will change the very fabric of space and time. Wow, ah, okay. That sounds fun. That's another uh, probably dollar fifty comment there from Alterna. Yeah, probably. Good stuff. Oh, I'm, I forgot to say, Al Ewing and Joe Bennett are the creative team on the Defender's Best Defense. That's actually the, uh, the Immortal Hulk creative team, so it should be good. Um, next up for me from DC Comics is Freedom Fighters number one of 12, um, written by Robert Venditti. That's a maxi series. That is a maxi series. And uh, art and cover art by Eddie Barrows. Line up for all this for this all new maxi series set on Earth X, where the Nazis won World War II. 20 years after invading and occupying America, Germany wiped out all metahuman resistance, including the original Freedom Fighters. Um, fast forward to the present day, and a new team of freedom fighters emerges to challenge the Naki, Nazi occupation. Naki, <laughs> occupation once again. But if they're going to have any chance of victory, they're going to need Uncle Sam, who disappeared after his original team was killed. The 12-part epic Death of a Nation storyline kicks off here. That sounds pretty good, actually. Um, hardcore number one for mature readers. From Image Comics, they do mature stuff. They do, mostly. Lots of it. Um, writer Andy Diggle and artist Alessandro Vitti. Imagine being able to take over the body of anyone on Earth. Sound crazy? Not for Agent Drake and the Hardcore program. They can turn any person into a human drone to get to targets that normal soldiers can't. Drake is the best soldier hardcore has to offer but when he gets stranded in a body there's only 72 hours to discover who's hijacked the program oh what oh he's stranded in the body with only 72 hours to discover who's hijacked the program he'll have to pull out all stops against an enemy who could be literally anyone uh -huh. okay intrigue intrigue andy diggle is very good i like this stuff too. it's a good name too it is very good. Um, I'm going back to Marvel for Infinity Wars, Fallen Guardian. Um, Jerry Dugan writing, Andy McDonald with the art. I'm assuming it's a one shot. Uh, in the stunning climax of Infinity Wars, one of the Guardians of the Galaxy makes the ultimate sacrifice. Look back at the life of a fallen guardian and the empty space they leave behind and what's left of the universe. Okay, so some major damage coming in Infinity Wars here. Yep. There is a Guardian of the Galaxy. Gonna die. Yeah. One of them. You yep. don't know who? For at least one issue. Let's yeah. Probably lasts. one issue. Um, Claws and Crying Snowman. Not the. There's probably in the Crying there probably Snowman. Is, I would um, number one from Boom! Exclamation point Studios. 
Grant Morrison and Dan Mora. They're cool. This makes me happy. Yeah. The best holiday tradition in comics returns to the next chapter in the ep of the epic Santa saga by visionary Grant Morrison and Eisner Award-nominated artist Dan Mora. It's so good, they said it twice. Yep. And you gotta check the list twice. That's right. See who's naughty and who's nice. Yeah, they're pretty cool. Claus has a... Claus has to help an absentee dad turned snowman make amends before melting away for good, and probably before he's defeated by a pantheon of Norse gods and their minions. All in a day's work for Santa Claus. Yeah, this is that's good stuff. So they call him Claus and Santa Claus. Well, yeah, he's he's. I'll get into that in a minute okay. with, my, with my back issue thing, but yeah, this is. Uh, and you're back to Marvel again. I am back to Marvel. I am back tomorrow. Claus makes me happy. That's one of my favorite holiday traditions. Yeah. Pennsylvania Dutch, eggnog, and, and reading Claus. Um, this is another Christmas offering from Marvel Comics from Jason Latour. Um, I'm assuming various art because it doesn't give an artist. But it's called Seasons Beatings. And um, it's the most wonderful time of the year. And certainly the most eventful as this cast of Marvel heroes soon find out as they engage in wacky hijinks to save the holiday season. And Deadpool's on the cover, I think. So, I mean, oh, I'm sure there's more wacky, than one cover. Wackiness and says, oh yeah, it's more than one. There's probably 50. Witcher 1 of Flesh and Fame. Oh, Flame. Of Flesh and Flame. Flesh and Flame. That's that, that, that. Uh, Dark Horse Comics. Writer Alec Sandra Matika and artist cover artist Moriana Strychowska. Good. Something like that. That's pretty close, I'm sure. Um, Geralt is summoned by an old friend to help solve a mystery involving his daughter. Upon arriving to investigate, however, Geralt is surprised by another friend from the past, and he soon finds himself transported to regions beyond his original expectations. Awesome. I'm looking forward to the Netflix series of The Witcher. And if you've never read the prose novels that all the stuff is based on, they're pretty awesome. A lot of Eastern European mythology and all that incorporated. A lot of Polish stuff. Okay, that's it. Hmm? Yeah, so now we move on to a back issue and a new issue. Okay. Um, or issue. My back issue, it's another trade, um, and it's not really that old, but keeping in the season and keeping with the Claws issue coming out this next week. This is the original miniseries, Claws. This is a six-issue series. Um, this is a beautifully bound... It's got the gold leaf, you know, on the side and all that. It's 35 bucks. It's got the whole miniseries, a little bit oversized. Um, no extras, unfortunately, but that's okay. It gives all, at least it gives all the alternate covers and all that to them, and all the covers, because it just kind of runs through it without giving you the covers initially, I think. But anyway, this is the origin of Santa Claus, so he is actually Santa Claus there. They just keep calling the series Claws. Oh, okay. And the one-shots they come out with every Christmas are just further adventures, time-jumping kind of things. Um, but this is the original. Um, this is his origin, um, how he becomes Santa Claus. Um, it's got a lot of Scandinavian, Germanic mythology mixed into it. And it's the most linear thing I think I've ever written by, or read by Grand Morrison. And it's like one of my favorite tales that he's done. And uh, this culminates in a showdown with the Krampus, so it's really awesome. Mm. Very cool stuff. It's a beautiful book. Um, they also have a book, a hardcover edition, similar to this, of the first two one-shots that they came out with. And um, well worth it. Well worth it. I highly recommend that stuff. It's very entertaining, and it's, it's a new Christmas tradition at my house a couple of years ago. Okay, now it's time for... Fantastic Four Wedding Special to get you in the mood for the wedding issue. Yep. Fantastic Four issue five. I Coming out in a couple of weeks, I think. Yeah. Um, you got the first. There's, it's like a Christmas issue kind of thing, like a special, because it's a wedding special. There you go. You got three different stories. Um, Invisible Girls Gone Wild. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> um, Alicia nice. Masters and. Her whole gaggle of friends, including superheroes and non-superheroes, who don't really do anything in the story, go to a strip club and then Mall Man shows up. Wow. 
Okay. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, that one was pretty cool at the end. You'll see. Um, father figure. Ah, uh, the father. So, um, the thing has already proposed. But he did it without asking the, the, puppet, the master puppet master for his daughter's hand in marriage. So he's kind of retroactively asking oh, for a blessing. Okay. okay. Um, that, that should be fun. Cool. That should yeah. be fun. Um, the Puppet Master's Lament. Okay. Which is done by Fred Hembeck. Hembeck. <gasps> and oh, I love his stuff. Oh, man. Fred Hembeck. And oh, for man. the most part, it's just Puppet Master's head <laughs> and a bunch of speech bubbles. But there's some stuff that goes on. It's pretty funny. That's great. I liked it. That's great. Awesome. Sounds like a fun issue. Yeah. I have not had a chance to read it, but I will soon. Alright, I guess we're done. Yeah. Yeah. There weren't a lot of books this week. No. No, no, no. But that's okay. That's fine. There's still more stuff. I mean, it won't just be that. Yeah. Alright. I guess, um, like and share. And subscribe and hit that bell for notifications yes, every time and we then, post a video. You know, leave some comments. Y'all have been leave, not leaving yeah. comments the last couple weeks. It's been kind of dry. Yeah. Okay. We're done. Yeah. Until uh, next time. Yeah. Keep reading good comics. Because why would you read bad ones? This is very true. <laughs>